Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. Here I am with another lecture of classical mechanics in which today we are going to discuss about rotating frame of reference. In the current lecture of classical mechanics, we will discuss about transformation of coordinate in a rotating frame of reference and the transformation of velocity and acceleration in a rotating frame of reference. So first of all, transformation of coordinate in a rotating frame of reference. Now, transformation of coordinate. Let there are two frame of reference S and S dash. S is stationary, whereas S dash is rotating about OZ axis with angular velocity omega. Let P be any point and its position vector is R. The coordinate of P in frame F is XYZ and the coordinate of same point P in frame S dash is X dash, Y dash and Z dash. Let S dash is rotating with uniform angular velocity omega with respect to S. Since the axis of rotation of S dash is passing through Z axis, so Z equal to Z dash. It is clear from this figure that the axis of rotation of S dash is passing through Z axis. So, there will be no change in Z coordinate of the particle in both the frame of reference. Hence, Z equal to Z dash. From figure X. X means the X coordinate of point P. It means this is our X. Since omega is the angular velocity of S dash, it means in time t, from S dash rotate by an angle of omega t. So this angle is omega t and let this angle is theta. So this component of R that is x. Since this angle is omega t plus theta, so the component of R in x direction will be OP cos omega t plus theta. So x equal to OP cos theta plus omega t. Now, if we open this by using formula cos A plus B, then cos A plus B is actually cos A cos B minus sin A sin B. Here A is theta and B is omega t. So this will be OP cos theta cos omega t minus OP sin theta sin omega t. Now x dash. x dash means x component of particle P in frame S dash. That is x dash. So this is our x dash. It means the component of R or component of OP along x dash direction. So this will be OP cos theta. And the component of R or OP in the y dash direction will be OP sin theta. So this OP cos theta can be replaced with x dash and OP sin theta can be replaced with y dash. So x equal to x dash cos omega t minus y dash sin omega t. So x equal to x dash cos omega t minus y dash sin omega t. Now, this was our diagram from figure y. 
Why means the component of R in Y direction in frame S means this component. Since this component was R cos omega t plus theta or OP cos omega t plus theta, so this component will be OP sin omega t plus theta or OP sin theta plus omega t. Now, we open this by using sin a plus b. And what is sin a plus b? Sin a plus b is sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. And here a is theta and b is omega t. So this will be op sin theta cos omega t plus op cos theta sin omega t. But x is equal to op cos theta and y is equal to op sin theta. So this op sin theta will be replaced by y dash and op cos theta is replaced with x dash and therefore y equal to y dash cos omega t plus x dash sin omega t. Now x is equal to x dash cos omega t minus y dash sin omega t and y equal to y dash cos omega t plus x dash sin omega t and z equal to z dash. So this is the transformation of coordinate from frame s to s dash. These equations represent the transformation equation for a rotating frame from S to S dash. Now, X equal to X dash cos omega t minus Y dash sin omega t. Y equal to Y dash cos omega t plus X dash sin omega t and Z equal to Z dash. Similarly, the inverse transformation equation from S dash to S. So if we want to find the inverse transformation equation from frame S dash to S, then we replace X with X dash and X dash with X, Y with Y dash and Y dash with Y and Z is replaced with Z dash, whereas Z dash is replaced with Z. And also angle omega t is replaced with minus omega t. So, this equation will be x dash equal to x cos omega t plus y sin omega t because this will be x dash, this will be x, this will be y. And omega t is replaced with minus omega t and cos of minus theta equal to cos theta. So, cos of minus omega t will be cos omega t whereas this will be sin of minus omega t will be minus sin omega t and this negative sign and this negative sign will be positive so plus y sin omega t and this equation will be y dash equal to y cos omega t plus x sin of minus omega t and sin of minus omega t equal to minus sin omega t. So y dash equal to y cos omega t minus x sin omega t and this will be z dash equal to z. So these equations represent the inverse transformation equation from from s dash to s. If s dash is moving with uniform velocity v along the positive x direction in addition to rotation then. So S dash is moving with uniform velocity v and also it is rotating. So these equations will be x dash equal to x cos omega t plus y sin omega t minus vt, y dash equal to y cos omega t minus x sin omega t and z dash equal to z. So here we have an another factor minus vt because S dash is moving along positive x direction with uniform velocity v.
So there will be no change in y and z coordinate. So we get these equations. Now, transformation of velocity and acceleration in a rotating frame of reference. So transformation of velocity and acceleration. This was our diagram. Let S be an inertial frame and frame stress is rotating with a uniform angular velocity omega which is clear from this figure. Since a point P is placed in frame S on which no force is acting. So this point P is placed in frame S and there is no force in frame S. It means the acceleration along x direction will be 0. So d2 x upon d2 equal to 0. Acceleration along y direction is 0 and the acceleration along z direction is 0 because f equal to 0. It means fx plus fy plus fz equal to 0 and fx is m ax fy is m ay and fz equal to m az. Since total force is 0 and there is no force along x, y and z direction so m ax equal to 0 that is ax equal to 0 and ax is the acceleration along x direction which is d2x upon dt2. So d2x upon dt2 equal to 0 in the same way the acceleration along y direction is 0 and the acceleration along z direction is 0. Now transformation equation for a rotating frame x is equal to x cos omega t plus y sin omega t y is equal to y cos omega t minus x sin omega t and z is equal to z. Now if we differentiate this equation with respect to time so dx dx by dt equal to x constant and differential of cos omega t is minus omega sin omega t. So minus omega x sin omega t and second time cos omega t will be constant and differential of x is dx by dt. Now we differentiate y sin omega t. So again here we apply product of two function method. So y is our constant and differential of sin omega t is omega cos omega t and second time sin omega t is constant and differential of y is dy by dt. So dx test by dt will be this one. So dx dx by dt is this one. Now if we take omega common from these two quantities then in bracket we have y cos omega t minus x sin omega t. So omega into y cos omega t minus x sin omega t and these two factor as it is. Now y is equal to y cos omega t minus x sin omega t. So this will be replaced with y dash. So dx dash by dt equal to omega y dash plus dx by dt cos omega t plus dy by dt sin omega t. Now if we differentiate this with respect to time then dy dash by dt equal to minus omega y sin omega t plus dy by dt cos omega t minus omega x cos omega t minus dx by dt sin omega t. Now we take omega common in these two quantities. Actually we take minus omega common. So minus omega and in bracket y sin omega t plus x cos omega t plus dy by dt cos omega t minus dx by dt sin omega t as it is. But x dash equal to x cos omega t plus y sin omega t. So this will be replaced with x dash. So dy dash by dt equal to minus omega x dash plus dy by dt cos omega t 
माइनस डीएक्स बाई डी टी साइन ओमेगा टी थर्ड वन इज जेड एस इक्वल टू जेड सो इफ यू डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस विद रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम देन डी जेड एस बाई डी टी इक्वल टू डी जेड बाई डी टी नाउ वी गॉट दीज थ्री इक्वेशन एंड दीज थ्री इक्वेशन आर नोन एज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वेलोसिटीज इन अ रोटेटिंग फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस सो दीज इक्वेशन रिप्रेजेंट द ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ वेलोसिटी इन अ रोटेटिंग फ्रेम ऑफ रेफरेंस नाउ वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस इक्वेशन अगेन विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू टाइम टू गेट द एक्सेलरेशन सो डी टू एक्सट्रेस अपॉन डी टी टू इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा डिफ्रेंशियल ऑफ वाइडस इज डी वाइडस बाई डी टी नाउ वी डिफ्रेंशिएट दिस by using product of two function so cos omega t is constant and differential of dx by dt is d2x by dt2 and second time dx by dt will be constant and differential of cos omega t will be minus omega sin omega t now we differentiate this one so sin omega t is constant and differential of dy by dt is d2y by dt2 and second time dy by dt is constant and differential of sin omega t is omega cos omega t so we get this equation since there is no acceleration in frame s so we already told you that acceleration along x direction and acceleration along y direction in frame s is zero so d2 x by dt2 is zero and d2 y by dt2 is zero so these two quantities will be zero so remaining quantity is omega d y dash by dt minus omega dx by dt sin omega t plus omega d y by dt cos omega t now omega d y dash by dt as it is and we take omega common in these two factor so in bracket we have d y by dt cos omega t minus d x by dt sin omega t and this is our d y dash by dt so d y by dt cos omega t minus d x by dt sin omega t will be dy dash by dt plus omega x dash so we transfer this term from here to here so we get this term so dy by dt cos omega t minus dx by dt sin omega t will be replaced with dy dash by dt plus omega x dash so d2 x dash by dt2 equal to omega dy dash by dt plus omega dy dash by dt plus omega into omega x dash that is omega square x dash or d2 x dash by dt2 is equal to omega square x dash plus twice omega dy dash by dt because omega dy dash by dt plus omega dy dash by dt will be twice omega dy dash by dt so this is the acceleration in frame s dash similarly if we find the acceleration in frame s dash which is rotating with respect to s with angular velocity omega then we have these equations so we differentiate this equation with respect to time and then we use this equation so we get d2 y dash by dt2 is equal to omega square y dash minus twice omega dx dash by dt and if we differentiate this equation then d2 z dash by dt2 is equal to d2 z by dt2 but d2 z by dt2 equal to 0 so d2 z dash by dt2 is equal to 0 so these three equations which one this one this one and this one 
these equations represent the transformation of acceleration in a rotating frame of reference. Thus, a point P in frame S have no acceleration because d to x by dt to equal to 0, d to y by dt to equal to 0 and d to z by dt to equal to 0. So, a point P in frame S have no acceleration because no force is acting on it but the same point in frame S dash accelerate with the above acceleration. Which acceleration? Acceleration along x direction is this one, acceleration along y direction is this one and acceleration along z direction is this one. So a point P in frame S have no acceleration but the same point in frame S dash accelerate with this acceleration. Therefore, the point P feel a force in rotating frame and this force is known as fixative force. So point P accelerate with this acceleration in frame S dash and if we multiply acceleration with mass then we get force. So a point P feel a force in rotating frame and this force is known as fixative force. Thus a rotating frame is always non-inertial frame. So here we end our session. In today's session we have discussed about rotating frame of reference. So goodbye.